Okay, so I've done a skinny dipping story before, but there's one I've thought of that honestly reminded me of a really good time. And this was with an absolute rebel, and today's story does get insane, but before I get into that, make sure you guys do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Seriously, it means a lot when you guys do, and on top of that, I am streaming live on Kick right now as we speak, so make sure you guys join in the Kick streams at kick.com slash bubba for more crazy stories just like this one, except live. Other than that, let's get straight into this awesome amazing story. Yo, what is going on, you guys? My name's Bubba, and welcome back to a new story time. So today's story starts one year after I graduated high school. I remember around this time, I was vibing, doing my own thing, and just working really hard. Because the only thing you can do after graduating is either go to school or work your life out. And that's what I was doing. I remember I was working at a restaurant, just working as much as I can, and also doing construction on the side. But then I remember, out of nowhere, one day when I was at the restaurant and I was doing my job as a, you know, cook, I remember there was a person who came to the back of the restaurant and I didn't recognize her. I remember I looked at her and I kept looking at her because she was actually really attractive. But then I remember she went back there and when she went to the back of the restaurant, I remember she decided to literally start yelling at a person who was also back there. And he was like a co-worker of mine. I remember when I heard yelling, I decided to go see what was going on because things could have gotten really bad. But when I got back there, I realized that apparently this girl that came to the back was dating one of my co-workers and I guess things ended in a really bad note. I remember when I went back there, I decided to say, hey, like, can you guys tone it down? Like, I understand you guys are arguing, but like, we don't need this here right now. I remember the girl looked at me all upset, but instead of punching me in the face like she looked like she wanted to do, she walked up to me and decided to kiss me right in the face. She literally just kissed me out of nowhere. It made no sense. And I remember I looked at her thinking, uh, you good? And then she ended up going back inside the restaurant and walking away. I remember I looked at my coworker and I asked him saying, yo, like, like, what just happened? And he ended up looking at me all upset saying, Bubba, I'm just gonna go home, bro. Like, she just ended things with me because, like, I cheated on her and I didn't tell her about it. And I guess she tried to get back at me from, you know, kissing you. Just don't worry about it, okay? I don't want to talk about it. And he ended up going to his locker and getting his things and leaving, which really sucks. But at the same time, I guess getting dumped is not easy. I remember after that whole situation, though, I ended up just doing the rest of my shift and I ended up just, you know, packing up my things and getting ready to go home because I ended up getting off early earlier that day. And I remember right as I got my things and I left out the front door of the restaurant, I saw the same girl that kissed me earlier just sitting on the curb and crying. She was crying over and over and over. Now me, my first intention was, oh, just leave her there because, you know, it's tough. You know, life's tough like that. But I don't know what it was. I think it was the kiss she gave me or I don't know. But I decided to walk up to her. I walked up to her and I said, hey, like, is everything all right? She looked at me and said, oh, what do you want? And I ended up telling her, hey, listen, I heard about what happened. And honestly, you don't deserve to get cheated on. No one does. And, you know, if you want to talk about it, I'm here to talk about it. She ended up looking at me and kind of smiling and kind of laughing saying, you know, like, I just can't believe he cheated on me. Like, seriously, like, look at me. I'm fun. I'm awesome. I'm amazing. And in my mind, I was thinking, but you're literally insane because what kind of girl kisses another guy in front of her ex-boyfriend? Like, let's be real here, people. But I remember I looked at her instead and I said, yeah, no, I understand what you're feeling. Honestly, it happens. And then from there, I remember me and her, we ended up just kind of walking around talking about the relationship that just ended, which is never a good sign. But then one thing I realized about her is that she was a straight rebel. If you guys don't know what I mean, I mean, she would literally, and I mean literally, go to stores with me and steal stuff. She would kick down signs and even a basic traffic cone. She would pick up and throw in the air as if it was a Frisbee. It was honestly something that I never really understood about her, but I'm not gonna lie. It was kind of fun. It was like me back in middle school being shy, but doing the occasional rebellious thing. So I remember I stuck around with her and me and her, we were out till dark. We were out till I want to say sunset was happening. We were at the park sitting down on a hill and we were just watching the sunset. And I remember I decided to tell her, hey, I got to admit, I thought you were crazy, but you're actually pretty cool. She looked at me and said, oh yeah, well, I mean, thanks. And then that's when she turned around. She turned her whole body around and saw a body of water that we were close to. She looked at it and said, Bubba, have you ever been skinny dipping? Huh? Is what I said. And I didn't want to say I have because I didn't want to seem weird. But then I ended up saying, uh, I did it once. Yeah. Like, you know with a girl is what I ended up telling her to, you know, make it seem cool, you know, not to make her think that I did it with a guy. Cause that's just weird. 
And then she ended up telling me, oh, good. So you're experienced then. She ended up standing up and taking off her top and taking off her bra. And she decides to go straight for the water. And me, I'm thinking, oh boy, okay, here goes nothing. And I decided to take off all my clothing and we jumped straight into the water. We started basically skinny dipping. We went inside this body of water that was, you know, pretty remote. Luckily, no one was there, but still it was super awkward because anyone, and I mean, even the cars driving on the road passing by us could see us, you know, naked in the water. But I remember we were just having fun, splashing around. And then at one moment, I remember she came close to me, pushed me and me as I went to go push her, she grabbed onto me. She grabbed onto me and I grabbed onto her and well, we ended up kissing. We ended up kissing. And then from there, me and her, we actually ended up doing the devil's tango in the water, like literally in the water, like the lake that we were on. I remember we were doing it for, I want to say 10 minutes, but my body got cold and I was shivering and she also was getting cold. But right before we ended things on the devil's tango, I remember the girl ended up seeing a flashlight coming towards the lake. And apparently there was a dog barking as well. At first I thought it was someone walking their dog, but it ended up being a security guard checking around the park. At that point I started panicking and so did she. So me and her, we ran straight to get our clothing. We got them. And as we were running, we were putting on our clothing as fast as we could. It was honestly actually something really cool. And I would actually do again. That adrenaline rush really got to me. Like, think about it. Adrenaline doing the devil's tango in a lake. Like, it really gets to you. From there, I remember I decided to tell her, hey, like, do you want to come back to my place? And she looked at me and said, um, I don't know. Like, I got stuff to do. And I ended up telling her, well, we can't end the night just like that. Like, are you serious? She looked at me and she told me, Bubba, I want you to close your eyes. Huh? Is what I said. I thought she was going to do another, you know, crazy stunt. You know what I mean? For me, I remember I closed my eyes and then she told me to count to 20. I counted to 20 as if we were about to play hide and seek. But then I remember after I counted to 20, she was gone. She literally just disappeared. I don't know what happened. I don't know what I did wrong. It really messes with my head even till this day. That girl was awesome. And honestly, to know that she just kind of disappeared as if she was Batman, I'm not gonna lie, it was really cool, but at the same time, really sad. I remember the next day when I went to work, I decided to ask my coworker that he ended things with to, you know, basically tell me her name or, you know, basically tell me like, you know, what's her like socials or, you know, what's her Instagram, her Facebook, anything. But I remember when he asked him, he said, why, huh? Wait, want to hit her up? She'll never go for a guy like you. And at that point, since he was my coworker, I didn't want to tell him what happened because that would just cause more drama. But I will say one thing. I did run into this girl again one day, but we'll just continue that story for another time. Anyways, guys, that is basically it for today's story. Make sure you do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And like I always say, fall for more embarrassing but crazy stories. Peace out, guys.